Georgia's onion producers are gearing up for another growing season. The Vidalia onion brand is recognized around the country and the world as the best onion around. And at UGA's Vidalia Onion and Vegetable Research Center, work is done all year to make sure the crop stays plentiful and farmers stay profitable. Monitor's Mark Wildman has a report. In these fields at the Vidalia Onion and Vegetable Research Center, important work is being done to make sure farmers have the best information about growing one of Georgia's most recognizable crops. Area onion agent Cliff Reiner and many others work hard all year long to make sure farmers have the best information possible. Vida Onion Vegetable Research Center was founded in 1999 um, through the University of Georgia. It was really based on needs of the onion growers and the, and the thriving Vida Onion industry. We've looked at everything you can look at on onions, especially Vida Onions, um, from planting, the herbicides, to you know the bugs that get on them, the fungicide sprays we look at, and then also some post-harvest stuff to looking at flavor and other things to try to make the best onion in the world better. Onions are traditionally a very labor-intensive crop, but research is underway here to see how onions react to being planted by seed. Over 98 percent of the industry is tr currently hand transplanted. Everything's done by hand, so the more we can direct seed or uh, even looking at some set planting, which is planting those mini bulbs, um, that'll help alleviate some of the dependency on labor for the growers. Problem with planting from seed is weed control. Traditional herbicides applied to onions can not only kill the weeds, but will kill the onions as well. The biggest thing is timing of application. You're looking at these small seed that basically have no energy reserves in them compared to the sets or the transplants that can pull off of that energy. And then most of our herbicide products actually do cause some harm to the onions. So it's a balance of timing. You've got to plant that seed very shallow so the weeds have an advantage over direct seeded. We are learning about some new products that hopefully will be registered in a couple of years. But until we get that, we're working with what we currently have. And we've made tremendous progress in looking at rates, timing, and uh, uh, other types of mixed applications of herbicides and using two at the time instead of just one and it's getting some progress found. Work done here is forward thinking. The researchers want to have a solution to the problem before the farmers need it. Most scientific research that's done at land-grant institutions are always you know five or six years ahead of the curve and uh, hopefully we'll always have a labor source here but this is kind of just in case. The growers have been asking us to be looking at this that way if something happens, they can't wait, you know, to get the crop in the ground. If it's, if they have a labor shortage and they need to get the, dirt, the plants in the ground, we need to have some alternatives for them figured out already. We can't start the ball when the disaster strikes. We've got to be prepared for it. Onions are like other crops. Some years are better than others. But the one thing that doesn't change is Vidalia onions taste great. And onion experts want to keep it that way. With good proactive research and great support from growers and the public, the future looks bright for this classic Georgia brand. We've got a lot of good growers uh, involved in the industry, a lot of younger growers getting involved. So the, the future is, is all in our hands and we want to do whatever we can here at the university to uh, protect that future for the industry. In Toombs County, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.